are you treating this That's... as a shopping a shopping trip for yourself I'm very restrained these days. Are you? Since I bought a helicopter, yes. <laughs> now, there are very few people in my phone book that when I receive a voice note like the one you've just listened to, I'll wake up at stupid o'clock, drop everything to make it to the specific time and place suggested. But Al is one of those people because he has a crazy collection of toys and cars and always surrounds himself with interesting people and projects. And between Supercars of London and Grenade, we've done a lot of fun stuff together. So I can imagine imagine that today is going to be a lot of fun. It's quite foggy and weirdly, coincidentally, on one of the country roads driving over to Pro Drive, I drove past the grenade tank, which is really weird. They've got a hot air balloon, but I don't think that is going to fly in this fog. So I have no idea. I'm hoping when I arrive at Pro Drive, Al's going to make it pretty obvious what we're doing. Oh, wow. <laughs> What are you doing? Get up off the floor. You don't have a single mechanical bone in your body that knows what you're doing. That's mostly true, but I think you'll find on this one, it needs a new disc and shaft. This is the first time I've been in here. Well, this was your only chance to ever get in here because they're quite fussy. <laughs> uh, we're here all the time. What have clearly. you done to get in here is basically what I'm here to ask. You don't want to know what we've done to get in here today, <laughs> but what you do want to know is what the new grenade vehicle. We love the tank, yeah. as you know, but with the rising sea levels, we did think, which is mostly your fault, by the way. Oh my God. What we thought is something a little bit more, I would say weather resistant, mm -hmm. but the tank's fairly weather resistant. Yeah. What it's not is waterproof. Land, air, sea. When you do want it to reveal, just give the shutter a knock. Yes. Then BB will lift the shirt, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Do you want one knock? Two knocks? You're asking those stupid questions. <laughs> this is just for the reveal. How many knocks do you want? It's a good question. It's not a Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? It's nice. It, what, me or that? that? Oh, that. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Behold my genius. <laughs> like I built it. <laughs> this is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Listen to it. The reveal has been complete. We've caught that content. It is now getting driven round the front of ProDrive so that we can continue with the filming. What have I just witnessed? Visually, this is a mental thing. Look at that. It looks like a Hummer H2 with a boat on the front that the wheels then retract and it becomes a 40 knot top speed water weapon. Look at the inside. power is still with your foot thrust. Okay. Oh, it's genius. You loving it? We figured out what this does. Go on, well, I haven't. Go Ross on. did. Power! Really? Power! Okay, so that is how... <laughs> when you're on the water. I was going to say, so it feels like a boat, you're not using the pedals down Apparently there. Apparently you are. You yeah, can? That, that's just your jets to put in ahead, neutral and reverse, but your, your, your actual power throttle is still your foot throttle. <laughs> so it's like driving a car. Yeah. On the water. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so spending some time looking around this thing, it is a totally road legal amphibious car boat thing that's got lights, a reverse light, indicators, a number plate, and then an interior that resembles a car, yet when you retract the wheels, it's a boat. All aboard! <laughs> With an idiot captain. Let me show you around the back of it because it is mental. And it's 80 miles an hour on road. Apparently. 40 knots. 39 point something miles an hour on water. Was oh, it the other way around? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's fast on water and slow on road. Yeah, I like the first one. <laughs> Look at this as a concept. I mean, I would never be able to get my head around what actually happens, but the plan is we're going to Yanni's. Yep, we're going to Yanni's with this. It's funny you should say that because if you can't spell, that actually says Yanni. 
<laughs> it does. He's already done the interior. It's like he's already been involved. <laughs> and it still works. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head to Yanni's. Look, brilliant. Give it to him. I, I mean, it's certainly I mean, Janie, more like Yanni. But yeah. Yeah, if we give it a European twist, Yanni. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is going to be probably one of the most ridiculous vehicles he has ever wrapped but you can't have an orange tank a military green hot air balloon and a nardo gray amphibious it's vehicle. weird isn't it yeah because otherwise that sentence makes absolutely perfect sense <laughs> yeah we need to come up with something i think to grenadify a bit more we have arrived at the yanomai's dream factory where many of my cars have been wrapped and converted in here the michelin c63 the pilotti nissan gtr and we are here with team grenade as the humdinger arrives here at the yanomai's hq ours lamborghini urus is over there we've got the grenade discovery i think it's a discovery there and confirmation that the humdinger has arrived so me yanni and al are going to sit down and come up with a concept a design for this this is not your typical delivery uh, yanni mys what a bizarre thing to yeah. see yeah. getting transported it's so much bigger when you put it in a small space at pro drive it looked relative to the size of the space that we were filming in why does it look bigger here why does it look bigger here because we're in london yeah. and in london <laughs> everything's... everything's bigger than it really is this it doesn't make any sense it's because con it's so congested here it looks bigger that's why <laughs> smaller streets this didn't look as big on the M40. It didn't look as big at Pro Drive. No. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. it's here. I'm worried it's not even going to fit in his unit. It had a cut, to be fair. <laughs> I've seen him, he's a bit nervous. <laughs> All of these people here are trying to coordinate a bit of filming and this going into the car park. It is an absolute mad operation. As the boat's getting unloaded, a customer needs to leave. Al's being nice to the customer and just trying to chat him up. The boat needs to go back on. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than you think, that boat. When I first saw it, I was like, that is properly cool. But now here... This is going well. Yeah, I'm not we, getting involved. <laughs> we were on time this morning. We did well. Our bit worked really well. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like having a boat delivered in London would cause a problem. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> How happy are you now, Yanni, that you agreed to this job before you saw it? <laughs> you know we're doing this for grenade. Do you reckon we could throw a grenade in here yeah, yeah. and... <laughs> so oranges. Yeah. So this is going to be the base colour. You guys up? Oh, so you've got a mixture there of setting, gloss and matte, yeah? Yeah, that's this one. Uh, gloss. So we're, we're going to go white. So any, anything going on top of the orange is going to go white, is that correct? I would say logo is white. Yes. It's for a first draft on it, and then... Uh, first draft? There's no, yeah. there's no first... <laughs> let, let me just explain to you how this works. There's what, no first draft, second draft, ten draft. It's, you're going to choose today. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> you just said yeah, yeah, We've got all the time in the world. What's what you're getting? <laughs> They've already given you two just, weeks to wrap a massive I'll boat. I'll yeah, just <laughs> first draft. First draft, Paul. Two weeks later. We have now arrived at Yanni's, and as a lot of you will know and have seen his content as well, well as some of the collections that I've had here, he has a special way of revealing his creations. However, we have got a slight audio problem with someone grinding the stairs. So we're having to wait. Everyone's out here. Yanni's inside with the humdinger and we are awaiting its arrival with the full wrap. And uh, well, this is what we're dealing with in terms of the noise problem. I'm all mic'd up. And this is what we've got behind us. You and you be me. Yeah. Should we do that? Let's do that. Go on, do an impression. It's fucking sick, bruv, isn't it? It's sick, isn't it? <laughs> so not me. <laughs> He's got quite a high pitched voice, hasn't he? I've oh, got a helicopter! <laughs> Woo! Every time I do it in London, I've got to do that. I've got to do that, and you've got to do the walk. You don't walk like that. A little it's bit so of exciting. videography magic. I've <laughs> <laughs> got lights and everything. <laughs> And a number plate still. Oh, unbelievable. Look at him. Oh, it moves. <laughs> run away, run away. 
That actually looks epic. That looks really good to be fair. I don't want to surprise. I just thought you'd mess it up. Welcome to Noah's Ark. All the animals get in. You're safe in here. Before the world ends, this is the place to be. Will the Coast Guard be able to spot it when we're sinking? Hopefully. What do is we think? something on the roof? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's bang on brand colours. Despite what people say, and all the bad trust pilot reviews that no doubt's out there, you're good. <laughs> you are good. Now, as you can probably imagine, over the last couple of weeks filming this video and the transformation of the Humdinger has been quite entertaining and full of energy with Yanni and Al together. But one thing that we mentioned earlier on, and I hope I've put it in the edit, is talking about the insurance of this and getting it on the water. It's one thing that we have struggled with. So at the moment, whilst it is winter, we haven't got the opportunity yet of taking it out onto some water yet. Can you hear them in the background? They're bickering. I have no idea what about, but I was very happy with the wrap. Yanni is very happy with the wrap. What we are going to do now is take this out on the roads of Enfield to try and capture some reactions of people seeing the Humdinger, the amphibious car, for the first time on the road with the ridiculous grenade wrap. It looks so good. Yanni has done a fantastic job, covered all of the grey. You've got black underneath the perfect branding across the side and the orange just popped i hope it comes across on camera but they've done an amazing job it has been hilarious to film this from starting collecting this at pro drive the gibbs humdinger and taking it over to yanni for its transformation but those guys together are absolute carnage it has been so much fun i think it is now time to jump on this thing take it around enfield and then start putting some plans together about how we're going to get that on the water look at this i've just realized there's a there's a flaw with this what's the, the first floor? floor no the, doors no, no windows no, no cup holders <laughs> oh yeah that's cup, very no, true oh it's gonna go back no. It's a retrofit cup holders. Everything needs cup holders. Just two cool guys hanging out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we can get them over that sentence. <laughs> yeah. The one thing though that I really want to just see. Just two close friends <laughs> just hanging out at the back of the people, are, people are going to screenshot that. <laughs> I know, they, yeah, they, will they screenshot this? <laughs> <laughs> that is the thumbnail for your channel. Look at that. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. How's the gun show? Shocking. Shocking. Yeah. We've got what, about, what about if I just do that? Just do a bit of a cheeky cheeky tricep shot. Yeah, great. Bit of that, no? Orange berries. They've got a the strange side. smell. They've got that smell that smells like cat wee. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the front because I wanna see what this looks like from the front. But I'm getting attacked by thought. The wing mirrors are. Yeah. The wing mirrors are huge. Ready for it's almost like we're compensating for something. <laughs> Look how big my wing mirrors are. <laughs> how about this? You will move out of the way. <laughs> oh, we have made it back. My hands feel like they should be falling off. It I'm, so I'm blue so cold. So cold. But we did just say, what if it was raining? What, have we, what would have we have done? We fill it with water. Yeah. And because it's water time, we'll drown. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think that's probably what would happen. That's exactly what would happen. We've arrived back at Yanni's. My eyes are still watering from standing up and getting blown by the headwind. Just to clarify, have. he wasn't standing up getting blown. Because <laughs> that sounds weird. I'm going to cut the video there. Later. You later, have been totally unacceptable in this video. Later, if he's lucky. I'm winking, but you can't see I'm winking. So I'm saying, hang on a minute, hang on. There we go. That's how we finished the video. Yanni has transformed the Humdinger. We collected it from ProDrive, which by the way is an amazing facility. And we're back with the crazy audio. Yeah, yeah we're back with someone drilling. <laughs> sure. I will leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Head into the link in the description for all of your grenade needs. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Without him, he's never coming back on my channel again. <laughs> Call me. See you in the next one, thank you. <laughs>